Okay guys, I'm going to make a video about Robo Plus Motion and Robo Task. I'll do something simple. So um, let's start it off. Got the robot connected and uh, I'm going to connect the robot. Okay. Let's try again. Port number 8. Okay, now it's going to download the motion which is already stored in the robot to the Computer it's gonna take about 10 seconds, maybe 20. Okay, so CM510. Um, these are all the motions already in the robot. Okay, I'm gonna make something simple. Let's give it a name, call it I don't know, A. Alright, and I'm gonna give it a few frames. Okay, and um, okay, for the first frame, I want it to be something which I already got which is for the robot to stand up. So, okay, I want this frame, so I right hand click to transfer this to the robot on the right hand side. And I come back to step zero, and notice this is 5.0, 5.2, I'm gonna press the left arrows. Now, step zero's got this motion. Now, step one, also got 5.1.2, so I need to again transfer this to the left and then I can uh, start to edit it so let's say that I want to uh, edit servo number 3 which is the arm here servo number 3 I will and then I scroll it up the numbers go up and as you can see the, the arms of the robot is going up All right. So I'm going to make it a bit higher. You can also use this dial here, but it's, uh, sometimes I overshoot, so I'm just being careful. Alright, so i got this motion, and it's on the right-hand side. Now I want to save it to the left-hand side, so left-hand arrow. Okay, now do the same thing to step 2, save it. And another way of um, making a pose is to use the catch and play. So I'm going to select all these stuff and press the talk off and as soon as I press that the robot servos are now free to move so it can fall down if I'm not careful so I'm just going to twist it around move that up a little bit you can do the same for all the other uh, joints of course and now I'm going to put the talk back on now it's stored in here now I'm going to transfer it to the left okay and our final frame, I'm just want it to be the same as the first frame. So I transfer it back to robot, and I'll save it to step number three. All right, here are the timing and the pulses you can do. So time one is slow, time 0 0.2 is fast, and you can make it pulse as well. Okay, now I'm going to um, let's play the whole thing and see how it goes. Okay, if I make it faster, say I say I make it, uh, first one is not point uh, 3, and I make a step 2, I make a pause here. You expect the first action to be quick, and then it will pause in step 2 and then continue. So I'm going to press play again. See, there's the pulse. Alright, let's save this to the robot. So press save and it will go down to the robot. So it's saving. You can of course go save as draft and then you can save it to a file without saving to a robot so you, can, you don't corrupt anything. Okay, so this motion is now stored in the robot. Let's con disconnect that and uh, now let's turn on robo task and write something simple. Okay, so this is robot task. Um, okay, you double click it. First of all, you select your robot type, 510. So the port, port 8. Now you can double click. And this is basically a very simple version of basic, as you, if you've done programming before. So it will have, it will need a start and an exit. So you double click it, it will write that for you. 
you want a function you gotta write it outside and you call it and I double click again what I want is to have an endless loop so click endless loop then boom here you go now I want it so that if I press a button it will load that action we just create so I come here and I go um, if and then I, you know this clause comes out I double click on the left side and uh, here controller you got the receive so double click remote con receive and okay okay and then you okay what you want I say if I want the remote to have something and I come to a constant variable I want to say if I want, I want to press one then do something which is in here so I double click here what I want to do I want to load an action we just created so load so here you go motion motion page press OK and now what do we want to do you just put a number and we assign a number we just I think it's two three five if I'm not mistaken let's try again Oops. two three five let me double check, hang on. Um, I forget it, I think it's 235. Okay, now what you're going to do is transfer that to a robot. So make sure you go, um, as soon as you do that, all those autom autonomous walking, all those remote control things will be overridden. So make sure you got a backup somewhere or you go to, you know, what, my page and then download it. So transfer and zeros and it's successful good press ok ok now let's try it out so I'm gonna now disconnect the uh, serial cable you gotta do that in order for the remote to work so you need to go to the last one and press start and now I've got my uh, remote here I'm gonna stick B so I'm gonna press 1 and then the arm is gonna move there you go. So press again. So this is the basic idea. Of course, you can program different motions, um, continuous motion, and you can also put variables from these sensors uh, and the gyro sensors. So if like if you see an object here distance, then you can you know step back, or if you say fall down, you just gyro sensor sense it, then make it stand back up, or stuff like that. So um, the possibility is endless okay so here you go let me see what you think thank you Bye.